Hello guys, welcome to Network Geek, myself Pound Raj. So first of all, I would like to thank you guys for attending my session on basics of computer networking. So in this video, I'll tell you guys how to do the lab on network file sharing, which I was demonstrating in my session. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to use ng-labs to practice this network file sharing. You guys need ng-lab account uh, to practice this as well. So first I'll tell you guys how to get the ng-lab access. Okay, so go and uh, download the Network Geek application. It is available in App Store as well as in Play Store. You can just search for Network Geek and download the application, log in into the application using your mobile number. So the next thing is you need to install this software. The link is provided here. Just go download this software, uh, download this application and install the application, right? I've already downloaded. Let me install in front of you guys. Okay, I have the application already downloaded and it is available over here. Okay, let me click on the application and install the application. Hey, this application, why it is required is in order to access the devices inside the ng lab. ng lab, we need this application. So let me install the application. So you guys can also install it. So the link is provided over here, right? So this is the link networkgeek.in slash nglabs.exe. Okay, let me install the application, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, it's a normal installation, just uh, generally how you install any application, the same way you can install it. Let me give next. Okay, and I want you guys to uncheck this option, right? Wireshark is not required for our lab. Let me uncheck Wireshark. Right, uh, and then go with the remaining stuff, right? Just uncheck uh, the Wireshark application alone. Okay, let me give next. Okay, install. Okay, so now it's gonna uh, start the VNC setup. Let me install, uh, let me give okay for it. It's gonna ask for the terms, I'm accepting it. Next, 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 next. Okay, default installation only guys, nothing to change over here. Okay, I think the installation is completed. Okay, we'll give next and I'm just gonna uncheck this option and then give finish. Okay, so now we're gonna give next over here and then it says the complete, I mean, it says the installation is completed. Okay, let's uh, finish this. Okay, so if we got the network geek application, hope you guys have logged into the network geek application already. If not, uh, please download it log into the network geek application and have the app ready right next thing is you guys you guys have to install this application right which is required to access the devices that we have inside the ng labs right so the third thing is you guys have to go to the network geek website which means labs network geek labs website labs.networkgeek.in i'm already into the website only here you can see i'm into the website labs.networkgeek.in Okay, so now you guys need a username password to log into this website, right? So that's what, uh, you know, here the catch is, it's not open for anyone. You guys need to authenticate yourself with the ng-lab account to get into the lab, right? So I'll tell you guys how to get the ng-lab access. So once you install the application, once you install the Network Geek application, right, you can find out, uh, you know, this is the screenshot of the Network Geek application. So at the bottom, you can see, you know, there's an option called NG Labs, right? Just click on that option and you will get a username password generated in the app itself, right? So you can just use this username password to log in into the lab, right? So the username will be usually, you know, it is nothing but your mobile number, right? Uh, first, you have 91, that is the country code, and then uh, 10 characters, 10 number, mobile number, and then at the rate of NG. So this is going to be exactly your username, right? Just use it the same way 91 and then your mobile number and then at the rate of ng right and the passcode will be displayed here which you guys can use it to log into the lab right just ignore the access code for now it's not actually important right let's uh, go to the lab page and log in using the username password that i've got here okay so already the username password is saved i'm going to log in with that username password okay let me log in into the lab okay so once you log in, you guys can uh, find one thing over here. So here you guys have, or you guys will have 50 hours of lab, right? Here it is, for me, it is 9,000 uh, something. But for you guys, it will be 50 hours. 50 hours lab is sufficient to practice our network file sharing, guys. So don't worry about having 50 hours. That is more than sufficient. Okay, let's get into the uh, ng labs demo folder. Inside that, I'm just going to uh, open this workshop and IV, right? The same lab that I was using in my session. Okay, opening it. And here you have uh, two devices. One is Windows 10 machine, the other one is Windows uh, 7 machine. Let me start this guy. I'm gonna start this guy as well. So let me pause my recording for a moment so that uh, once they are ready, let me resume the recording. Okay, so the devices are ready right now. Uh, let's log into the Windows 10 machine first. I'm just clicking on this device. Right, and now I'll access the Windows, uh, I'm accessing the Windows 10 machine. Let me go to the uh, command prompt. Here I have the command prompt. Right, I'm gonna use a command called ncpa.cpl. Okay, I'm gonna configure IP address to the Windows 10 machine. Okay, let's use this ncpa.cpl command and I'm just gonna give enter. And it opens a new window in which I can see this icon. Let me click on that. 
right going to the property section going to ipv4 and use the following ip address right i'm just selecting uh, use the following ip address and i'm going to type the ip address which is 192.168.1.1 and let me click on the submit mask and it's going to pop up the submit mask which is 258.258.258.0 that's absolutely fine i'm just going to give okay right so the first pc or the windows 10 machine is going to have the ip address 192.168.1.1 okay let me give okay okay close fine so we have the ip address for the windows 10 machine now let's open the windows 7 machine and configure ip address to him so i have the windows 7 machine here see windows 7 machine is password protected so you need password to log in into the windows 7 machine the password is simple it's welcome right all lowercase welcome let me log into the windows uh, 7 machine i'm just typing the password welcome okay so you have the windows 7 machine here let me click on the same command prompt use the same command ncpa.cpl and click on this icon go to the property section click on ipv4 use the following ip address type the ip address 192.168.1.2 okay and the submit mask is going to be 258.258.258.0 which is fine i'm just going to use okay okay and close right so now we configured both the devices with the ip addresses right now right now they have the ip address so let me use windows 10 machine to check the connectivity right i'm just going to use windows 10 machine to ping windows 7 machine right from this pc i'm going to ping and check the connectivity between the devices so let me open the windows uh, 10 machine i'm going to type the command ping 192.168.1.2 right so 1.1 is windows 10 mission 1.2 is windows 7 mission i'm trying to ping windows 7 mission and check the connectivity so i'm pinging uh, and i'm getting the response right which means now they are connected right this is a good sign that you know now the the pcs are able to talk to each other right so when you try to ping the ping should work right after configuring ip address for uh, windows 10 mission and windows 7 mission you guys the windows 10 mission you guys should be able to uh, ping from windows uh, you know 10 mission to windows 7 mission right so the ping is working it's a good sign actually good now they are connected now they can talk to each other now let's come to the point of uh, sharing the file right let me create a folder so right click new folder i'm gonna i'm gonna have the name of this folder as movies okay i'm gonna have a new file over it i'm just gonna click some i'm just gonna create some uh, text files and rename it let me have the name as movies and i'm just gonna change the extension to mp4 but it's not required guys right you can you can have it simply as a text file also okay i'm just gonna uh, copy paste uh, multiple times i have movies here so it's a movie folder which has got multiple movies inside it okay so this is a folder that i would like to share with uh, others right so how do i share is i right click the folder go to the property section sharing click on share add everyone just select everyone and then click on add right don't forget that you have to click on add now many students after selecting everyone what they'll do is they'll click on the share button don't do that so select everyone and then add right once you see everyone uh, you know joined the list then you can click on share okay and just click on yes okay the folder has been shared let's give done and i'm just going to click on advanced sharing center share this folder okay click on share this folder okay okay fine so we have got this movie folder shared and and just i forgot one more thing so in the sharing option you guys have to uh, enable this also right after doing this advanced sharing after clicking on this advanced sharing you guys have to click on this network and sharing center uh, which will take you to the sorry <laughs> which will take you to the uh, you know this this window where you can just uh, you know just expand this option go to the bottom and then click on uh, turn off password protected sharing right i'm just gonna turn off the password way of sharing okay let's give save changes okay close it okay fine guys so now let's try whether it's properly working or not so i'm just gonna go to uh, the windows uh, uh you know the windows 7 machine here i'm just gonna type the command run right i'm gonna open the application run application and i'll be opening uh, the ip address of the windows 10 machine so it's going to be double slash 192.168.1.1 so 192.168.1.1 is nothing but the windows 7 machine right sorry windows 10 machine so i'm in windows 7 machine right now 1.1 is windows 10 machine let me click on okay and you can see the movie folder has been shared by windows 10 machine which is appearing in my screen right let me just copy and then paste it in my local drive okay so i'm just pasting it in my desktop right i've shared the movie folder which the windows 10 machine has got you know i just shared that movie folder via network and i got it in my pc right this is what i was demonstrating on that day guys i want you guys to practice it definitely so it might uh, you know start a small uh interest towards networking which will lead to a very big journey 
Okay. So when you guys were doing this lab, right, if you guys couldn't get the content properly or which if you couldn't do the lab properly, then what you guys can do is you can simply, uh, you know, click on more actions and wipe all nodes. So which means if you guys are able to, if you guys are not able to do this, right, if, if something is not working properly, I don't know if things are not working properly, uh, if the network sharing is not done properly, then if you wanted to restart it, if you wanted to do it again from the beginning, what you guys can do is you can just click on uh, wipe all nodes so it will clear all the configurations and you can start from the beginning right those who have completed the uh you know those who have completed the lab right if you guys have done the lab if the network sharing is properly working still go wipe the lab because you guys have completed the lab right so there is nothing to you know have this device is running so let's go close i mean let's click on more actions wipe all nodes right or else you know, if you keep running this lab uh, you have the duration right here the duration will be keep decreasing if the lab devices are running the duration will be keep decreasing so you guys you guys will have only 50 hours of lab so please make sure that uh, you wipe the lab once it is done right so wipe is what everyone have to do if you've done the lab then wipe it if you if your lab is not working properly wipe it and then try it again start the devices again and try it okay so this is what i want to tell you in this video guys right please practice this because i told you in the session that you know a, a small spark can lead to a very big journey so you guys might be a good network engineer in future but this will be the starting point for that okay so thanks for watching my video if you have any doubts feel free to reach me out okay thanks for uh watching this video guys. Thank you. Bye.